dedicated to all the abuse victims, uh, part of my Tell Your Story series with Nurse Kelly. Um, we've already went over uh, some of the smear campaigns endured. Let's talk abuse. That's uh, the narc specialty. Um, let's see. For me, my biggest love language was uh, gift giving, as I told both you know my narcs that I dated because that's the only way I was ever shown love by my father figures growing up was either they gave me money, they bought me gifts, or took me on trips. So I endured um, lots and lots of financial abuse. Uh, my ex actually built his wealth, um, you know, by putting me in debt. <laughs> um, you know, I was taught, you know, with my religious upbringing, I, I don't know if I should... Just thought, you know, the man's the protector, the provider. So, you know, um, I allowed him to handle all the finances. I entrusted him with my checks and, you know, uh, he just handled everything. You know, I just thought, you know, he's my husband, the father of my son. He's got my best financial interest in mine. And um, I discovered later when I went to buy a car that I had over a dozen credit cards in my name that I didn't even open. I had no idea about. He always got the mail and he had forged my signatures. He, um, not only did he steal from me, but he was power of attorney of his aunt and cousin, which were mentally challenged, and he stole thousands from them. He stole, I, I believe it was over $60,000 from his real estate business partner. She ended up going to all my divorce proceedings with me. So, yeah, he stole, um, yeah, he built his wealth on stealing from me, his real estate business partner, his aunt cousin, he's power of attorney of, just, you know, lots of fraud and theft there. So the financial abuse, uh, the home is in some, you know, the trust with his mom. Um, he kicked the kids and I out just in record below freezing temperatures just days before Christmas. Um, yeah, the financial abuse was just awful. I never got child support. And then when I did, I think it was only like a few hundred bucks. And then he took me back to court again. So, yeah. Huh. No, he, he built his wealth off me for sure. <laughs> All I got from marrying my narc. And then the sociopath narc I dated and kept thousands and thousands of dollars worth of my personal spa stuff and ripped me off and stole, stole from my sons their pool table, the trampoline. Yeah. So um, if, you, if you let a narc know your love language, they'll use it against you, so be careful. <laughs> but uh, that's on the financial abuse side. I have other abuse, but just be leery of those narcs. Watch your money.